Okay. Hi guys, this is a really simple CEO Your Winners Wednesday class tutorial on forward bends. So we're going to... Do I have a block handy? No. <laughs> what I would love you to have at home is a block handy. What I do have handy, with two hands, is a cushion, which is going to be my, my block. Okay, so coming onto your sit bones, and now just roll the flesh of your bum away from those ITs, Iscotobosities, so you can feel, you can actually feel your sit bones connecting with the earth. And now your hand's going to go a little bit further forward of your hips, and you can just lock forward a little bit to do that. To get that nice earthly connection through your hands to the floor. Reaching here, wiggling a little bit from side to side. Good, and now we're going to reach up with those hands, lifting up to the heavens, reaching through the fingertips, lengthening out of the waist. Good, and then just exhale, relaxing down. Now, when you did that, if you found as soon as you, you removed your hands that you started to collapse off the front of your sit bones, what I'd like you to do is to take your block and to sit on it. If you've only got a cushion to hand, you can fold up the cushion and sit on that. Ta -da! And now I'd like you to do that again. So feel the sit bones, your connection with the earth through, through your block or through the cushions into the ground. And lift those hands up. Lengthening out of that waist, through the armpits, into your fingertips and beyond. And then just exhaling, relaxing the arms down. If you found with that that you stayed on your sit bones, awesome. If you found again that you started to collapse a little bit further back off your sit bones, what I'd like you to do is to find another block <laughs> or another cushion, which I don't have to hand here, and place that underneath your bum and do it again. Now when you get to a point where that when you do this lovely extension, you don't rock off your sit bones and collapse back and start to round your lower back, that is the height for you. I find I can do the movement. There's something beeping. <laughs> okay, beep away then go on to that height. So I'm on the ground, I can do this, and I don't rock back. I've got very open hamstrings and a very open lower back as well. So this is my position for me. I'm directly in connection with the ground through, through the mat. So I'm lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. And now what I'm gonna do is dig in my heels, and again, that's gonna help that sense of staying on the sit bones, because just by digging in my heels, like I'm Digging in through sand, I hope you can see my heels now. I'm going to swivel it around just in case, different perspective. Digging in the heels, the sit bones even go further back again. Just a little bit, but enough to make sure that I'm on the front of those sit bones. So this is the, another little trick. Dig in the heels, like going, <laughs> dig them in, sit bones go back, and we're here. Then we're going to start to reach forwards. And that digging in the heel is going to give you a lovely, also extra energy of that swirling effect in the body. So from digging in the heels, the energy again goes back to your sit bones and you bring the energy up through your back and up through your spine over the top. So by doing that, I can come forwards. Now, you may not be like me that may be able to go completely flat here. If you're like that, or oh, it starts to become difficult, to stay on the front of the sit bones, what I like you to do is bend your knees. So you might be on a block here, or a cushion, and you're lifting up, digging in those heels, we come forward, lengthening up, out of those hips, ribcage lifting up and over, and then we go for our heels. And that could be where we stay, and we can just relax our neck here. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows, and you can even shake out your neck, nod your head, which works, both they work different parts of the spine. And then just soften here. And then we can make it active again, digging in those heels, which sends the sit bones further back, and then we come over the top and we can just soften. Relax the shoulders down the back, relax the elbows, relax the grip, relax any intention, the breath, and again, <laughs> dig in the heels. <laughs> sit bones go back and we come a little bit over the top and we soften. So you might be like this, digging in the heels, sit bones go back and we come forwards, 
And yeah, so we've got a nice and lovely forward bend here, which is softening us into the back of our body, stretching a complete stretch from all from our Achilles tendons to the calves, to the hamstrings, to those glutes, to the QLs, up, up and over, stretching all the back muscles and to the neck. So remember to move that neck so you've got no tension in that neck and then just maybe just rolling all the way up. Thank you for joining me, a little introduction into forward bending. If you've got very tight hamstrings though, what, something I would advise, just so you know, is just to target them, that wouldn't be the way I'd get to them. That would, would be the way Forward bending has got so many benefits to sort of softening the body, softening the whole nervous system, and it does stretch out the hamstrings, but the one I would go for if you have really tight hamstrings is to be on your back here and just to bend one knee and just to maybe take hold of your hamstring, or maybe a soft bend in that knee, rock it from side to side, take hold of your calf, or get a strap and place it on the top of your foot here, and just you can gently soften here because if you do it on your back, you won't be getting that extra strain going into your lower back. Your lower back can soften with the ground. So in this case, you've got gravity working with you without having any strain which gravity can put or place on your back, which you might have if you're coming into the position which is a forward bend. So this is great for you as a, that's the forward bend, but if your hamstrings are very, very tight and you tend to be sitting up quite high on things, then get on your back. Have a great day. Keep up your brilliance. Bye.